way it's been played. He hasn't. He didn't actually throw any arrows mid at the Death Prophet, and that was yeah. kind of key thing you mentioned. Like a Death Prophet, you can put some pressure on. This hero will not catch up very well at all. Attack. Yeah, I honestly feel like it was maybe part of the plan, and then they were like, Darkseer can't actually be bots, he needs to leave. Hey, wait, Marana can be bots, and then everything just kind of yeah. fell into place, but... And the other thing was, Tusk kind of camped mid too, so you hit an arrow, you could just snowball and keep the hero alive oh. during that period of time. Radiant's bottom tower That's the end of that one. Speaking attack. of Puppy's early game impacts, he's gonna get some of them a little bit of bomb. Not too big a deal, that, that kill Dyer's by itself, but... Are fortified. It's uh, mid lane, where Fata's now getting a bit more aggressive, doesn't have to worry about an arrow for the time being, and... As far as TP rotations go, Sven could TP in, but you don't have like a guarantee of a stun, stun off of this, although he's actually just showing up to the mid lane and looking to keep this one pushed out with Exorcism soon to be wearing off. I wonder if there's going to be a... The pilot are maxing a wave of terror first. They've got Blunder, they've got the Sven. So I feel like it's a matter of time before... I think they're pinging to smoke to rush. The classic, yeah. yeah. This is a, such a classic Dyer's secret or envy play, I guess. You sit with the old Cloud9 and... Something him and Pi know all too well. They look to farm up this this stack here first, but right now we have a radiant observer with planted down here, giving vision of this stack. So something Dyer's that Team Liquid could try attack. and contest. They saw the smoke. I think they saw the smoke. I think Kuro just pinged that he saw like oh. part of the smoke animation. Derex is still standing very close by. Dyer's bottom top. Mm, here comes Envy attack. looking to go in. Matumba Man. Oh, he dodges the stun. Snowball forward. Can they still get the kill? The eye shot comes out as well. Matumba Man going aggressive. Gets the two hero chains, but it's going to leave Tusk to die. They did not have the numbers they'd like. And Sven popping the ultimate. Not a hero that Ember particularly wants to fight with his low armor right now. You know what? It, it's still better for Liquid than if Rush had gone down for Tusk to die. Yeah. But Dyer's it's the Ancients farm as well. And Envy will farm this and then immediately can get back to stacking it some more. I say you can farm it. He's been caught out. And Flame Guard will finish off the kill. The vision. Dyer's into Matumba Man, and there's nothing to get rid of this Flame Guard right now. They need some magic damage coming in. He's just going to fight the bear. There Your comes the Flatter Fist. Matumba Man gets the Searing Chains up on two. He's almost killed off the bear. Dyer's he will do so, and they take out Lone Druid. He's looking for more. He wants Misery. Oracle will get a double kill. The spam on the Purifying Flames, just doing serious work as Secret Loose. Four heroes here, and that one Observer Ward Radiant's scouting out the Ancients, giving them the vision they needed, leading to a number of kills to go Liquid's way, and suddenly Secret very much on the back foot here in the early game. It's really interesting because I would have thought that maybe Secret would have been onto them. They see the Tusk just camping outside the rush pit like, oh, they must have seen us, so they've got that ward. But obviously that's not what they thought. Secret probably thought, okay, he's just waiting there. Because if they had expected the ward, that never would have happened. As a result, it's Team Secret who... We talked about how Liquid... Liquid don't have to get as much done in the early game, it's Secret, and when Secret get fall behind like this, I feel that puts even more pressure onto them. Yeah, the comeback does. potential of, like, the Lone Druid Sven, there just won't be enough farm and room on the map for them if Liquid can get aggressive. Dyer's I feel like these are two heroes who... Attack. Not necessarily that they need to have a great start or anything, but you just don't want both Dyer's of these heroes to be in farm mode. You want one of them to try and be creating space for the other. Definitely, and, and I mean, we can come back to the Marana, which, like, it's mo the early game is supposed to be like, you hit some arrows, you make Out some space. She's gonna have ulti soon, so maybe Puppy's Dyer's ulti can set something up. Has fallen. But the Marana, as Radiant's the game becomes more and more like 5v5, is, is a lot less useful. And w you're going up against, like, a tired Ravage, then even the fact that you have a Dox is not really gonna help you come back yeah. into the game by winning a team fight. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think Liquid are in a, in a really strong position right now, and yeah. I mean, Puppy's like ratio of arrow shot at creeps to arrow shot at heroes is currently not looking too good. I think I've, there's been what the one arrow bottom lane which he shot at a hero. Yeah, maybe like one other. He's he's found a lot more creeps with arrows than he has tried to hit heroes. Not that you're going to always be landing them, but at some point you've got to have a like clear purpose for this Marana pick. Well, there's the Marana ulti that should save okay. Pilar die, but. Counter kill on this one. Sven gonna go in, throws the sun, does not have the god swing for now. The arrow will get dodged by the Yule Scepter. Oh no, Fata may still get out of this one, but here comes the god swing. There's gonna be a false promise as well. Fata can just turn and fight. Has he got the heals to survive this one? It looks like, yes, he's healing. Here comes Tide Ravage onto everyone. Secret. They lose one, they're gonna lose two. Weeha goes down as well. Puppy looking for the TP out. He'll survive, but they lose. Well, the more important here is all three cores go down, just the two supports dying. Pilot I saying, I'm sorry guys, I failed you, I didn't swap save anyone. That, not... <laughs> that was actually so well played by Liquid, especially Matumaman I want to say, who, who like jumps in and waits and waits and waits and then he chains. Like, the t the timing of everything was so perfect yeah. to like, buy time for Oracle to get there, to save DP, then Tide gets there, casts the Ravage. And Liquid are just completely outplaying Secret right now. I mean, some of the things like the defensive yields barely dodging the arrow is just like a... Very small, like, that's like a timing thing, which was almost somewhat luck, but yeah, yeah, yeah. even so, it's like, 
time and time again, Liquid just making so much out of this. This is really cool. Tide can farm Ancients and this neutral camp. He's like actually made a pathway through. I have not seen this mine. one before. I'm not sure if other players have, have been doing this on the Radiant Tidehunter, but... A little pathway that goes through these two camps. Extra value out of the, the Iron Talon. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Talon Tide, definitely a, a thing, I guess. He's now farmed up a mech, it looks like, for the old Tidehunter. I mean, I, look, I, I guess no matter how where the game goes, there's always going to be a chance that Sven's going to use God Strength, plus, like, damage from Vengeora. Dark is going to vacuum everyone, and then you, we've seen those clips of, like, one-shot clear yeah. bolt. But... For me, it's becoming more and more like that's the game plan because Moran is losing a purpose. Even the Lone Druid is, to me, like he's got a Midas. He's like sitting around farming, not really any game impact right now. And even if he goes, the Radiance would come up at such a late time, it doesn't feel like it's going to have a big game impact. And if anything, like the Bear will just be an easy unit for the Death Prophet to Spirit Siphon in these fights. So, smoke coming out from Secret. Is this a Roche attempt or something else? It looks like they're headed in there. They've got God Strength and Envy. Gonna pop it in South Fight. He throws the Wave of Terror, oh, which actually goes over know. the Observer yeah. Ward. Yeah. They could have spotted that Wave of Terror, and I think it looks like here they come. Tide Hunter, no Ravage. Tan's got Mech here. They're gonna pop the Invis. Tide actually walks past. They don't know, it what? seems. Well, they, they might have not been looking at the ward. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, absolutely. You have to have your camera over the ward when they yeah. throw that wave of terror, but it was just amazing that Dyer's Tide walked past and Secret remained cool. Roshan oh, Side of Fist scouts it out. Radiant, oh, Radiant get nothing. They, don't, they, they got a tower. Yeah, they got yeah. a tower, and they're just a little bit Radiant's too late with that Slide of Fist scout. Under attack. That's... I want to say it's still like the so oversight by Pilot R when they're rushing. You, you're supposed to wave like in the other direction so that if Radiant's the ward's there, it doesn't spot them. Is under attack. And if they were looking at that ward, that was literally the same ward that gave Liquid a huge fight at the Ancients before, so... Yeah, I mean... Perhaps, because definitely Liquid, even without Ravage, I feel Ty can just walk in there, throw an Anchor Smash, he's got mech. I think Liquid crushed that fight. If they, if they find them in there, and they Dyer's had four heroes at least nearby pushing bottom lane. Yeah, I mean, they, they got Morana on the way out. Secret weren't ready to fight despite the fact they got Aegis, so... I, I think that says quite a lot yeah. about the situation there. Secret get away with it a little bit lucky. But then, then again, Liquid have gotten a little bit lucky here and there as well, so I mean... Fair is fair. <laughs> Beth is just chasing that wagon. Cardi, come back here, Cardi! Oh, it looks like he dropped the Dominator, so... Creep for you. Oh, he dominated a new creep, actually, in the mid lane, so he'll send over a range creep to start stacking those Ancients, but... Bottom lane where Liquid say, you've been ages? Well, we don't really care, we're gonna try and push and fight into you until these TPs come in. Ben's TP has got the God Strength, Mind Control on the front lines, can throw a Ravage here if he'd like to, he gets hit by an arrow, is he gonna be the target? Yes, he is for now, pops the mech, holding onto the Ravage, he'll throw it now, catches out two, make it three with that one, and Sven just getting kind of kited in place, no longer has God Strength, he will be coming back up in just a second here, Death Prophet's already killed one, that's in the top lane, Matumba Man, five Running out the bear getting low gets taken out by the anchor smash mind control the new target but got a bear for this one i don't think liquid gonna be too phased by that as the searing chains out on puppy matumba man needs to decide he wants to fight this one or not jerek still in the fray Pulling it out has an ice shard as well as a walrus punch soon and with that bench magic missile he will go down off to the side it's kuro unable to keep all his teammates alive he's on the back foot here this arrow will land gets one more nuke off onto weeha he's going down to the urn charges he'll die oh kuro what a way to go out with a bang, he gets the kill, and oh, meanwhile, Fata says, not only did I get a kill up here, you're also missing me get your tier 2 tower. Still a big win for, for Secret, honestly. I guess they could have gotten the position there. He solo killed the Darkseer, which I guess using the Yules to cancel off the Surge, I imagine, and... For yeah. Liquid, that overall seems like fight they, they, they're super happy about, because they fight 4v... I guess 4v4 into an Aegis. Trade pretty evenly, kill off the Spirit Bear, and meanwhile Fata getting a tier 2 tower and a kill. Yeah, because of the trade top, I'd be happy with it, but I I don't know. I, I feel like the fight's at the bottom lane on its own. Kuro is sufficiently far ahead to not get that many deaths. Yeah. I think it was quite messy. Like, Tide had to use mech just to heal himself at the start, because he kind of got initiated on, and they didn't get to combo the mech with the, the False Promise, which is also obviously very useful. But, yeah, the way it works out, Liquid is still fine, they're still very much in control of this game, and now they're stealing an Ancient stack. Yeah, they... they I think the ward just attack. expired, but they saw the Sven try and start oh. off on it. Envy 
He's fighting with Timberman. And he knows he can't go for the TP until the Searing Chains is being used. Now the Searing Chains gets used. It may be too late. Uh, one more. Radiant okay, he barely gets out of there. The Timberman just a tiny bit too early on the chains. He tried to wait as long as possible before he Dyer's went for it. And Envy gets the TP Radiant's out. Perhaps something that could have been stopped. So, so what's the reason you think fallen. that he uses the chains and doesn't just wait? Is it, is it like, you know, forcing a decision or something? Like, you either have Dyer's to TP now or... I think he thought it was pro probably running out of time since he's near a T2 tower. Maybe he's afraid of like a rotation coming in or... I don't know. It's yeah. hard to say exactly. And very much he's, he's kind of calculated in his head and thought the damage attack. was there to get the kill. Dyer's but the war cry with the fallen. bonus armor was what kind of meant his right clicks did nowhere yeah. near enough. And it's easy for us to say in hindsight, like, oh, yeah, it was yeah. really close. He should have waited a bit. Yeah. You don't, like, so he probably just, he just didn't calculate for the war cry. That's what it came down to. Yep. That makes sense to me. So what are the, okay, Battle 3 comes out of my Timberman, and the game continues to go Liquid's way very, very clearly. They've already got the Octarine Core up on Death Prophet, so now the uptime for this exorcism improves and improves, and they've taken every single out of tower, and we're pre-20 minutes into this game, so I don't imagine next Roshan will probably be going Liquid's way. They'll start hitting these item timings that can Radiant's prepare them for a high ground siege, attack. and Secret uh, in a bit of a tough spot here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's even worse than the kind of gold well, mm -hmm. there's... Oh, he didn't get the Searing Chains. He missed the combo, a rare miss from... They find Palada, they find Palada. Uh, not going to go for a TP himself. He is invis here, I'm not sure they have that sentry. much protection. Oh. Only, well, there's a sentry's in the stash of the... <laughs> ...task. He was holding Palada. a sentry. And a juke, TP now. Oh, wow, he gets out. Alright, so... Yeah, what I wanted to say before is that things look really bad for Secret, and they're actually worse than they look. Because of like the way the drafts are, secret. We, we said the other team that wanted to actually have, yeah. you know, the early momentum, put the early pressure on the enemy team. And we've spoken about how the support Morana has a lot less value at this point in the game. The lone druid has a lot less value than it's meant to have. Even the Sven is like because it's not a head on farm. It wants to like have S and Y, BKB, various things. So secret need some kind of miracle fights and Radiant's liquid sense that, and they just go for the high ground. Yeah. Well, they've got a guardian griefs tied on the front line, so really engaging into this is. Incredibly Dyer's difficult. Mind control attack. taking perhaps a damage any bargain for here, and without an Aegis or anything on their side, they're just trying to get maximum value out of this excellent call and they swap back in onto Farta. Pulled even further away. Can the false promise come off? It does do so in time. Farta now getting healed back up. They've got to do some more damage if they want to kill him off. He self heals as the heal's still continuing. I don't think Farta's going down. No way. He's full HP. That's Oracle for you, and Farta now on the back foot, or is he? More heals coming his way, and there's nothing he can do. They've already used two buybacks here. Just a cleave from the Ember Spirit takes out two more, and that's four dead. Rax is exposed. They've bought enough time for the Exorcism to wear off, but like you said, is this just game? It is. GG, Secret. I mean, 21 minutes. Secret went for like a really cheeky little play. I don't know if you saw it. It was the swap into arrow. So Swap arrow and like yeah. even vacuumed him Victory. further back. They tried to get him out of range for the False Promise, it looked like, so that yeah, but... someone could basically stop the false promise, but I feel like better yet, they need someone to actually go on the Oracle while they swap the Yeah, it's, it's kind of telling on the situation. Secret or like, we need to do this like ingenious, super creative attempt at a kill because that's how